Hi all, today we will see how we can manage storage locations in Odoo 15 inventory. So storage locations are storage places inside a warehouse or a sub location of one's warehouse and it can be set as a specific room such as uh, it can be a floor, shelf. So from inventory, if you go to configuration settings, Here you can uh, enable storage locations to create your own locations. So we can track product location in your warehouse. So after enabling this, when you save the settings, here you can view menu locations. So when you click on that, you can find some pre-configured locations. So by default, these locations are filtered by internal locations. And when you close this, you can find all locations with uh, different types. In Odoo Inventory Management, we usually manage three types of locations. They are physical locations, then partner locations, and virtual locations. So physical locations is an area where one's product is held in hand. So it is a part of internal location. And internal locations are the areas where we store our products with our Odoo inventory. So the loading of the products from the warehouse and unloading of materials to the warehouse also takes place in this area. And these internal locations will be located in the warehouse itself. And that is why we have given a short name for an internal location as WH, representing warehouse. And you can see for locations, these locations are represented in hierarchical structure. That is parent-child structure. Here you can see physical location, subcontracting location, then virtual locations, bar production, WH bar stock. So when you open one, you can see that this one is a parent location of order processing and for WH stock you can see uh, WH is a parent location so like this we can create location then we have virtual location so apart from a physical location companies manage virtual locations to represent a warehouse that really doesn't exist so uh, virtual location as a name indicates it's a location that exists only virtually and products are not physically in the inventory uh, can be placed in this location. So using these virtual locations, we can show the movement of product or trace history of the product. Uh, like here we can view inventory lows. Then we have production location to show the manufacturing, uh, indicate the manufacturing of the products. Now let's create a new location. Provide the location name and choose a parent location. So I'm setting WH as a parent location. And here I can set a location type. So you can find different types of location like Vendor location, view, internal location, customer location, inventory loads, production, transit location. So this customer location, it is a location that can be termed as a virtual location that will represent the location of the customer or the destination point of the product. And inventory loads, it is actually a virtual location that is used to represent inventory loads. So we can manage correct stock levels with the support of this and the view location. These view locations are virtual locations that are used to manage the hierarchical structure of the locations. It can be used for uh, storing products directly. Uh, so we have seen that uh, this WH is a kind of view location. 
then we have production location it is also virtual location uh, or virtual counterpart location that will help us to manage production related operations at this location finished products are produced using materials and we have transit location that is uh, these are the counterpart locations that have to be used to manage in the warehouse operations so we'll use transit location in when you're performing in the warehouse operations and in the company operations then we have vendor location in the same way then here we can choose a company and mark whether this location is a scrap location that is we can enable this if the location is used to add or store damaged or scrap items so we will discuss about scrap products or managing scrap products in a different video and we have another option to uh, choose whether this location is a return location that is we can enable this if the location is used to store the products returned from the customer then we can track the products uh, in this location using barcode we can provide a unique barcode for this location and here you can find a field where we can set inventory frequency in days so inventory count date for products stored at this location will be automatically set at the defined frequency so so we can set like four days so you can see next expected inventory that's a date for next plan inventory based on cyclic schedule so here you can see the date then we also have a field last effective inventory the date of last inventory at this location so we'll discuss about the cyclic inventory in another video you can see that location is created then after that we can make use of this location to perform transfers so if you create a new transfer here you can choose the operation type on that we can add the product so you can view source location then destination location so let me change this to stock 3 so you can see one demand now we can mark as to do So we can see one quantity is moved from stock to stock three. So if you check this location, here we have current stock. This location you can see one armchair. If you change the counter quantity to one. So the inventory is updated before the expected inventory date. So that's all about managing storage locations in Odoo 15.